Hello? Hello, everyone. Um, did you know that you can change your personality based on the food you consume? But before answering, let me tell you a story. So when I was in fourth grade, I was that shy kid who struggled to talk or to initiate any kind of small talks. And I couldn't even talk to my classmates. Imagine this. But after, my parents, they decided to transfer me from Russian school to an Uzbek. But at that time, I couldn't speak that language as a native. So I had struggles to talk to my classmates, or even when my teacher was asking me to retell a topic in front of the class. Imagine just the rock standing in front of you. Imagine. And I couldn't tell anything. And, uh, you know, I had my friends who were... Um, so I understand that and asked my parents to transfer me back to Russian school. So they agreed. They said, okay, here's your Russian school, you may go. But after, I understand that I had wrong theories because of my non-communicative behavior. It wasn't because of the language or it wasn't because of that I was shy. I understand that I was an introverted person. But I had my friends who were introverted as me. And when we were going to a picnic and when they were bringing their friends on their own. So they were talking to them about one topic for about one hour. Looking at them, I am well, like thinking to myself, I, I just couldn't imagine the one topic that, that was uh, held like for about one hour, really. And I started to research and think, what are, what if the, uh, something happens inside the brain that doesn't allow me to to tell or to uh, socialize with people or just even communicate. And so I found out these two chemicals that are played a role in these two personalities. Firstly, let's talk about the dopamine. Uh, in other words, we can call it as a pleasure chemical. So extroverts have a lot of receptors that are sensitive to a dopamine. And introverts have less uh, less receptors of the dopamine that are sensitive to it. And imagine, like, introvert reading a book, for example, a fiction book about the Robin Hood and his adventures of how he's, like, helping people in the village by stealing the money and giving them. And by reading it, the reader gets these kind of emotions. And here we are. He got his, he or she got his amount of dopamine. And what about the extroverts? So the extroverts, they get it external way or physical way. For example, in performing in front of everyone, show that everyone, everyone that they are number one. And uh, so what about the other camera call? So the other one is called acetylcholine, ACH in other words. It turns out that the acetylcholine receptors are a lot more in the introverted brain rather than in the extroverts. And you wouldn't believe me, but uh, my friends, after two years of this uh, adventure, they told they I got a compliment from them that I was changed. So like now, it's easier for me to socialize or even to start any communication to people with people and talk to them. And uh, in 1826, there was a French politician who said, "Tell me what you eat, and I tell you what you are." but now it's 21st century. And I think there is something in his words that we should think about. Thank you.